you've ever played CQB Airsoft, you know that you can encounter some really dark environments. We're talking underground basements, tunnels, and these areas can sometimes be pitch black. So it's super important to have a torch on your rig at all times. Now we see some players run in with torches strapped to the bottom of their guns with tape, or they run in with a massive torch and a pistol, and frankly there are better ways to run torches than that. Now here at Socom Tactical we have a great range of three weapon mounted flashlights from Element. Each three have similar features, but also vary in some way, so let's jump into the range and see firstly what features they share. So firstly, these torches have a really unique way of mounting to your weapon. The actual mount for the flashlight is bonded to the shell itself, so this means there's no sort of mount to put your torch in or screws to do up, there's simply one thumb screw, which is what holds it to the rail of your gun, Now these do fit on the 20mm standard rails for most AEGs. And once you tighten it up with your fingers, it's on. There's no other mounts to come loose or allen keys or anything like that. It's simply one screw and it's fixed there. And because the mounts are actually built into the torch, it actually sits really flushly on the rail. So it's a small profile, keeps it nice and thin, and will avoid you knocking it about on different walls or surfaces. It's an absolutely fantastic solid mount, and I trust these mounts completely. They're brilliant. Secondly, the casing on all three torches is full metal, so a nice hard body. You know, if you are going to be knocking it about, as does happen in CQB, you're going to have a nice hard shell to keep it as safe as possible. And all three do come with a pressure switch as well. Now pressure switches are brilliant because they enable you to operate the torch without having to reach around for different buttons. So imagine you've just screwed this torch onto your rail, you can put this pressure switch on your front grip, you can put it on the side of the rail, and every time you squeeze the rubber pressure pad, it turns the torch on. If I let go, it turns it off. So you can have total control over when you turn your torch on and off, which is obviously really important in airsoft because as soon as you fire up a torch in a game, you're going to see a huge hail of BBs come towards you because everyone loves shooting the light. So you want to basically have the torch on for as little time as possible while being able to spot your targets. So that's why a pressure switch is brilliant. However, if you didn't want to run the pressure switch, all three torches do come with a normal push button as well. So you can toggle it on or off like a traditional torch would work. So it's really a two in one. Now let's jump in and see what separates each torch from the next. We'll start with the smallest torch in the range, which is the M300. Now this torch is fantastic if you're running really stubby guns, say for example like a small 4 inch M4 like this one, it will look brilliant on the short rails. Now this torch does run on a single CR123 battery, so you are going to find yourself changing batteries slightly more often than some of the bigger torches, but however for such a small torch you're not sacrificing any power. This is still a super powerful torch with a really really focused beam, so don't think because it's small you're losing any brightness because that's not the case. So next in the range is the Element M600, so this is slightly longer and basically it runs on two CR123 batteries, so you're going to be changing batteries a little less often than with the smaller one and you still get that insane brightness you get from these and these really fantastic focused beams. As you're looking down range at this torch, you're going to see the beam is really focused, there's not a lot of spill around, it's just aiming at what you want it to illuminate, so a fantastic torch. Now, again, it's got a single mounting point, as we said, it's bonded to the base. These are really great for sort of most M4s. I would see these torches going on your assault weapons, your everyday CQB weapons, whatever you're using, if this is your standard weapon torch, this is probably going to be the one you want to look for. Finally in the range, we've got the M961, which is the daddy of all three torches. This torch is a bit of a beast. So as you can see, there's a lot more to it than the previous two torches, and because of that additional weight, it's actually got a double mounting point on it. So there's two thumb screws to do up this time to keep it really secure with your weapon system. Now there's actually another feature on here as well, which is slightly different to the previous two, in the way you've got the pressure switch, and you've also got the toggle button at the same time. You can keep these both on. Instead of having to switch bases to choose whether you're using the pressure switch or the button, you can actually use both at the same time, whether you want to use that pressure switch for precise control or keep it on or off with the button. It's on there at all times, so it's a really versatile torch. And because it's larger, you can actually fit three CR123 batteries inside here, so you should be changing batteries less often again. This torch is great for support weapons, larger weapons like that. Really great, versatile torch. Again, full metal body. So a really good torch. So as you can see, Element offer a really good range of torches depending on what weapon you want to attach them to, and these torches are definitely the way forward for any sort of weapon-mounted illumination. So for the full range of torches, check out socomtactical.net for more information.